notwithstanding the size of the check that often gets written in takeover transactions. Outgoing owners often have a genuine ongoing interest in the key relationships that have been so much a part of building that business. Similarly, and perhaps critical for the new owners, is the complete success in the handover of every one of those key relationships. And let me list them. First, we have employees, then we have customers, then we have suppliers, fourth, trade association relationships, and finally, community relationships. Each one of these can be managed to enhance the legacy of the former owner and definitely to support ongoing performance of the company. Let me give you some examples. If at the time uh, an acquisition or a takeover is announced, the employees rush to the exit, particularly key management, the company will definitely lose momentum. There will be a great deal of time involved in replacing employees to say nothing of cost. And that will just take everybody off the agenda which was created at the time of the acquisition. With respect to customers, the loss of business that can occur because customers have some anxiety with new ownership, they don't know whether they can rely on the new owners to the extent they did, on, uh, the, the, they did the old owners, they may decide to hedge their bets and divert, divert some of their business to other suppliers, or in other words, your competitors. But you don't want that. If you've enjoyed a sole source position and you have developed the infrastructure to support that, you don't want to have to start looking for business the day after the acquisition. Similarly with suppliers, you have spent many years building up a critical relationship with your key suppliers and those relationships are such that on a Friday night when you need three skids of material to support manufacturing during the weekend for important customers, that they will deliver without any kind of complaint or hesitation. That takes years to achieve. With respect to trade associations, which we often joke about and, and, and think of in terms of, of, of waste of time and boondoggles and things like that, and yes, there are some aspects of that, they are also the best pulse taking that you can get legally because you are meeting with competitors and uh, the like and getting to talk about business uh, in an informal setting. But there's also very important objectives of trade associations which is to manage issues and stay on top of them, stay ahead of the curve when you can. But primarily I see them as an important source of corporate intelligence. With respect to community, in many small ways Good relationships with the likes of the mayor's office or the local community college can make a considerable difference in the ongoing operations of a business. Uh, it can be as mundane as the management of traffic, incoming and outgoing for employees and change of shifts, or it could be for customers uh, and, and, and suppliers who uh, need to get their material and you need to receive your material. In the best of all worlds, the outgoing owner of a business is involved in the transition, hopefully will stay on for a period of time, and in effect become an ambassador for the new ownership. And in doing so, help to enhance his legacy and make sure it gets set down the way he wants it to be. But really, he's in effect supporting performance of the business. In other words, we want to reset the trust factor in all of those key relationships. We do this to reduce risk and to enhance value as part of building the business.